As it stands now, you're gonna need a lot of sap and grounded for not only crafting basic items like fiber bandages and torches, but also for making grub and berry leather plates, which are needed to upgrade armor. The best way to get sap in large quantities is to set up sap catchers. In this video, I'm gonna show you the best places to set up your sap catchers, as well as share a way to set up sap catchers wherever you want. Before we begin, I want to thank King Bling Blah Gaming, Matthew Campbell, Stephen Van, and all my other channel members for helping make videos like this possible. Becoming a channel member is the best way to support my channel, and you could do so by clicking the join button below or the link in the description. Thanks again to all my channel members, let's get started. Let's start the video off by first talking about what the sap collectors or sap catchers are, as they're called in the game here. So the sap catchers are basically a little structure you can place, and what it does is over time it will collect sap. I believe it collects five or six per in-game day from my experience. And basically what it is, it's a passive way of collecting sap. So instead of having to go around and break the big sap nodes or picking up sap off the ground or from the little sticks that are laying around in the yard, you can actually place these on specific look in specific locations. And when you come back, there will be sap in there every day. And it's basically the best way. It's probably actually at this point, the only way to end up getting enough sap to efficiently and quickly level up your armor in grounded because of the armor upgrade changes. So basically what you can do is you can place it on any structure where you'll see where it turns blue like this so as an example here's a root over by the oak tree you can place it on this so if you see any type of wood that looks like this like a root or a branch or something like that you can actually place it on this so what i want to do is i'm going to show you the three best places that i have found to set these sap collectors up as well as share a what's most likely going to be patched out because i can't believe it's intended a, a tip or trick that someone in my discord shared with me the other day so we'll get to that at the end of the video so stick around for that if you want to have sap collectors on the go so our first location that's going to be the best place to set up sap collectors, of course, is going to be the oak tree. As you can see, the oak tree has tons of different places you can place the sap collectors. You could place probably more than you'll ever need over here. So as an example, I just placed a bunch over here, placed some here. The only downside to this is going to be that, of course, you have all the wolf spiders around here. But of course, if you know how to navigate it or you can actually take care of the wolf spiders because you've upgraded gear and you're not worried about them, you can set up more sap collectors than you'll ever need over here at the oak tree. So that's going to be the first location. Now let's head over to the second location where you can also set up a bunch of sap collectors that's a little more safe than the oak tree. Next up is going to be the Fallen Branch, which, as you can see, is just south of the Mysterious Machine. So the Mysterious Machine is right here in the middle. We are just south of it. It's this giant branch here that's laying on the ground. It is just to the east of the Haze, basically in the bottom center of the map. And, of course, it looks like this. Now, not only do you have sap that's naturally occurring here on the ground, you also have this sap node here. There might be one at the other end as well. This is where I have most of my sap collectors set up in my, the new Fresh Co-op world that I've been playing with Original Ryan. I also set up a bunch of them over here in my main survival world, as well as the next location we're going to look at. The only real threat over here is there is an occasional... the wolf. There is a wolf spider that occasionally wanders around over here, but they don't. it's not normally during the day. So if you come over during the day, you should be okay. You can place the sap collectors all over here. And the only real threat over here is going to be lawn mites, which... To be completely honest they're not really a threat they're more of a nuisance so of course i just threw these together haphazardly you, you your best bet is to cut down these grass here and then you can place them much closer together and get a bunch of them in there so you can get as you can see this fallen branch here is enormous you can get tons of sap collectors in here not quite as many as the oak tree but certainly a lot you also have the stick here so there's tons there's just gonna be there's also sap up on top of there on top of the sticks so now let's head over to the third and final spot before i show you the super secret new tip that we have for collecting sap the third location is going to be the hedge which is in the bottom right corner of the map here this is a great place to set up sap collectors because you can set them up up top here and other than going over if you as long as you stay over here towards this side you don't have to deal with anything. You go further over that way, you're obviously gonna have to deal with the spiderlings, but they're not too big of a deal. But you can set up a ton of sap collectors over here. This is pretty useful because you're most likely gonna have to come over here to get berries for berry chunks to make berry leather anyway. So why not set up some sap collectors over here? And while you're coming over to get berries, you can run by and collect all the sap. As you can see, it looks like there's five in there. So maybe the max is five because I did have these set up for quite a while here. So that's where they, those are the three places I would recommend setting up sap collectors if you're looking for just setting them up in, in bulk. However, if you've built your base somewhere where there's not a place where you can actually like quickly build these, like as an example, my new base in my new main survival world, I built all the way up here by the bike. While there is a place over here in the upper backyard that is partially completed so they basically did some terraforming up here put in some terrain and some plants and stuff like that there is a place over here where you can actually put the sap collectors it's pretty far from where my base is so it's not really that convenient and also with this being behind the tape the con under construction tape there is a chance they're going to change the terrain so i wouldn't recommend building behind the under construction tape because you're at risk of them changing something and then having your structures possibly be underground like ha what's ha what happened to me with one of my houses that i built up on the 
retaining wall that's up north of the pond where my new house is. I built a house there and then ended up having the first floor under the under one of the stones because they added a new stone to it. So I'd recommend not building over there. But what I want to do is I want to show you how you can actually build sap collectors anywhere you want and basically just have the sap on demand. So if you're built, if you build your base and you don't feel like going back and forth to get sap from these other places, you can just have it set up wherever you want. All right, I made my way over to the baseball, which is just at where you come out of the spawn, starting spawn area. So you start down there, you come out of here, you're gonna walk past the baseball. And as you can see, I have sap collector set up there. And if you play the game long enough, you probably realize that you're not supposed to be able to sap collectors there. In fact, you can't even play sap collectors on these little sticks from what I've seen. It basically just says invalid surface. So even though there's sap coming out of these sticks, you cannot place it there. You can only place it on the thick roots or branches. However, we have sap collectors set up here, or sap catchers, excuse me. And I want to thank AK1 who shared this in my Discord. If you guys are looking for tips and tricks and stuff like that, head over to my Discord where you can find stuff like this out before I actually put it in video because I don't always put it in video form. But this was such a great see, uh, tip that I was that was shared with me that I decided to put it in a video. So thank you again to AK1. So basically what you can see here is there are sap collectors set up here and they are actually connected to the turrets. Now, I can't imagine this is intended and I do apologize for how sloppy these look. You can actually make them look much, you can actually make it look symmetrical so they actually look nice and neat. But from what I've seen, you can get about eight of them on each one of the turrets. They do work on both the pollen turrets and the pebble turrets. And basically all you have to do is set them up on, I wouldn't recommend putting them directly on the ground because it's gonna be easier if they're raised a little bit to have them have the sap collectors connected to them. So basically just put a floor underneath of them that's slightly off the ground. In this case, I just put these foundations up here. And I don't know why this works. Like I said, I can't imagine this is intended. I'm thinking it's because the pollen tur the, the turrets are made out of acorns. Although I did go and test every other item in the game that was made out of acorns, like the acorn stairs, ladders, uh, the water container, all those things. None of those allow you to connect the sap collectors to it. But what this will actually allow you to do is basically have sap collectors set up wherever you want. So as an example, like I said, I have my house up here. There's a little bit of sap up here. And like I said, there's a place over here that may in the future be a good place to put sap collectors. But if you're built somewhere that just doesn't have a ton of sap and you don't feel like going to the oak tree, going down to this fallen branch or going over here to the hedge, you're gonna notice if you're built up in this top left corner, the northwest corner, there's not a lot of great places to set up sap collectors. You can just set them up on demand like this. So real quick, let me just show you how this works and we'll just build a little structure down here. Like I said, it's easier if you put them on a little raised surface so they're not laying directly on the ground. I did set them up over at the Pond Pagoda just to try them out, just to see. And you can basically just shove a bunch of them in there. So real quick, we're in creative mode here. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna put this down. We're gonna put, it doesn't matter which floor we put on there. You can put a floor or a roof piece, it doesn't matter. We're gonna put that down. Then we're gonna get up here and we're gonna place one of these turrets real quick. So we'll just do the pebble turret. Like I said, it doesn't matter. And then you'll notice that it's just sitting there. And what we can do is we can go to the sap catcher and we're gonna take the sap catcher and you're gonna notice it's gonna stick on there, just like that. Now you can have it stick on the bottom, it'll actually stick on the top. So if you're trying to squeeze in as many as possible, like I said, you could, I think you can get about eight. Let's see how many we can get here just real quick. Cause I've not actually, if you did, if you sit here and you're really picky with it, I think you can get at least eight and maybe you can get, maybe you squeeze nine in, but I've only been able to get eight. Yeah, we can, oh no, actually we can get we can get more. All right, let's put some up top here. Bam, bam. Oh boy, this is even better. You might actually be able to get like ten or twelve. You have to play around with it and let me know if you can actually get more than this. But it looks like we're gonna get at least twelve. I think if I can get one over here. Yeah, so there you go. Kind of looks ugly, but I did squeeze. I believe tw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight, right? Four, four, hold on, let's count here. We're gonna start at this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So I've got 12 of them on one of these. So imagine having 12 sap collector, sap catchers set up at your disposal anywhere on the base. And like I said, they function exactly like the other sap catchers because I set these up around the same time and I did not collect any from them just to show that they actually do work. And this is, I can't, I, I'm guessing this is probably gonna be patched out because I can't imagine this is intended, but it does make better use of the turrets because to be honest, I'm not really using the turrets that much because I don't find them that effective. They might be okay during base raids, but I've been trying to get base raids to occur on my base and I can't get anything besides red ants to attack me. So until I get more base raids and get to test them more, this is probably the best use I would have recommended for the 
for the turrets. So anyway, thanks again to AK1 for sharing this in my Discord. If you found this video helpful, make sure to click the like button and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. If you want to support the channel even more, click the join card on the screen right now, the join button below, or the link in the description to become a channel member today. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.